reactions to the news that football is set to return and you've got a game on uh, June the 17th? Yeah, delighted, obviously. You know, there's been a, a pandemic in the world and, you know, we're not stupid enough to think that football is more important than anything else. But, you know, it's been a long 10, 11 weeks in lockdown. Um, and obviously when the announcement came yesterday, absolutely delighted and um, buzzing to get back going again because there's a lot to play for for us and uh, we want to finish the season strongly. Football's been gradually building towards being able to announce that it was going to return. But how good is it to have a firm date to know that you've got a day in June to aim for now for that first game back? Yeah, obviously, you know, you never know. <laughs> at the start, I think we were the last group to, the, the last club to stop training at the time when the pandemic started. And, you know, after a week, you're thinking, are we going to get a nudge of two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? And, you know, you're thinking you're doing all the sessions that we've been told to do and, you know, you have to do. And, you know, the end goal is that football will return. I was always quite confident about that. Um, it was just a matter of when it was safe to do so and being guided by the government and the Premier League. And, you know, we, when the opportunity comes, we've, we've got to be ready to go. And you'd put yourself in such a good position before the lockdown. How good is it now going to be able to, to try and finish the job and finish the season that promises so much? Yeah, definitely. We, we didn't want the season to be ended. We didn't want to um, have it you know, I think there was, there was mention of points per game and, you know, we, we want to earn what we, we can achieve and we didn't want anything given to us. We've, we've never been one to mourn about the situation. We I think we've, as a group, we've been positive about, you know, our stance on it. And as you say, when safe to do so and when guided by the government and, and by the Premier League, we're, we're happy to, to go back to work. The other piece of news that has emerged is the FA Cup is going to be coming back as well. How warmly do you receive that news, given that you're, you're one of the teams remaining in the competition? Yeah, as I said, the season we're having, there's something achievable for us. You know, it might be a bit of a strange one playing a cup final in an empty Wembley if we get that far. But unfortunately, you know, as I said, there's bigger things going on in the world at this moment in time where mass gatherings and crowds aren't allowed at sporting events. So, as you say, we're, we're not... We're not above anything that the government's setting out in, in terms of guidelines and what can be done. And as players, as always, we're told what to do and, and we'll do as we're told and be where we're supposed to be at the time we're told to be there. How do you rate your chances in the Cup? Yeah, fancy us. We've, uh, we've already beaten Arsenal at home this season. I think we played really well that night. We deserve to win the game. And, you know, maybe they won't be... I was looking forward to coming back up here, having known what it was like the first time when they, when they came here. Um, they might not enjoy it as much, but you, you don't know what teams are going to be like, what players are going to be like until it restarts. And we don't know what people's mentality is going to be like. But from our point of view, we, we've got to be ready to go and, and ready to hit the ground running. There's an opportunity, isn't there, to make this? I know it's a bit of a different season, obviously, with everything that's going on, but it could be a special season. It could be, yeah. And, that's the carrot at the end of it that's being dangled. You know, how much do you do you want to progress this season? And never in our wildest dreams did we expect to to be up challenging for Europe, but we are. We deserve to be. And we're not just going to let the, all the hard work that we've done over the past 10 months slip away now just because we've had a break for 10 or 11 weeks. You know, the, there's no point letting all that hard work that we've put in go to waste. So we'll be ready to go once, it re, once we restart. How good was it to get back to contact training? Yeah, it was. It was nice to just play football again. You know, it was like kids in the playground, you know, everyone chasing the ball around at first. But, uh, you know, we couldn't wait to get back at it. And, you know, there's still uh, boundaries on, you know, not being able to go in dressing rooms and shower and, and speak to each other away from the training pitch. So it's still a little bit strange, but it was nice to be out there and feel a little bit normal and, you know, getting back into football and you can't beat being out there in the fresh air, playing football and, and doing what we love. As a player, does it feel a little bit closer to coming back when you're actually able to go and make a tackle as opposed to keeping your distance from everybody? Yeah, it does. I mean, last week still felt strange coming in and, you know, you, you're you not allowed within six feet of people and you, you're literally running up and down lanes and you know, it's not really football. It's, you know, it's just running drills really. But now we've, 
we started the five sides and the bigger stuff. Um, you know, that football fitness, that's where you get fit in them in that short, sharper stuff. And really looking forward to getting going again now, yeah. How have you found the testing? Have you felt safe in returning to, to train? Yeah. Um, twice a week, obviously, you go through the, the test. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it's, it's 10 seconds. And, you know, as long as, as I've said, you know, in other interviews, as long as we are, as players, you know, we have a responsibility to carry on living as if we are in lockdown because, you know, if you contract the virus, you, you could miss two weeks to a month until you get the all clear. So it's important that you don't put yourself in that position that, you know, if you're unfortunate enough that you do pick it up because it seems that people are picking it up through bits of nothing. But, you know, there's a responsibility on us to, to protect ourselves, protect our teammates and protect our families, most importantly, as well, away from football. So we've all got families, we've all got, you know, girlfriends, wives, children vulnerable family members who we want to protect as well and with us going to work as I say there's a, a responsibility on us to behave in a certain manner. Has there been a message from the manager that's really stood out to you on this return to training and, and how best to prepare for getting back to Premier League football? Just do what you've done the past 10 months don't let it go to waste because this opportunity might never come around again. Um, it we know how the manager works. He, he's ready to go now. He, he'd be having us playing tomorrow if he could. Um, and we're, I don't think we're too far away. I, you know, another week or so, I think we'd be ready because everybody's done the work. Everybody's, you know, put the, the grueling yards in and it's not been nice. It's not been easy. It's been really, really tough. And But, as you say, there's a light at the end of the tunnel now and all that work will be worthwhile and it's important that we're, we're ready to go. Have there been talks in terms of your contracts and, and extending your stay at Sheffield United? Yes. How have they progressed? You'll see soon. <laughs> no, there's, uh, there's been talks, yeah, but negotiations, it takes time. But there's been talks, yeah, there's, they're ongoing and uh, hopefully there'll be a resolution soon. So a smile emerged though when you said you'll see soon. Are you feeling quite positive about the way that talks no, have gone so far? <laughs> No, the club knows how I feel and how the club feel. But as I said, negotiations take time. Um, we're talking. That's the important thing. We both know where each other stand. And as you say, hopefully we can uh, you know, get on the pay same page sooner rather than later. Is this a place where you feel you know, you, it's really worked well for you so far? I mean, obviously you've, you've had success at Sheffield United since joining the team, but in particular, is this somewhere that you would like to spend a lot of time? Yeah, I've said that previously. Um, I said that earlier in the season, that, you know, the way things have gone and obviously the opportunity I was given by the manager and the faith that he's shown in me and this group of players, there's no reason why I would want to leave. Um, obviously, as, as you say, Contract negotiations take time. It's not as simple as, right, we want this, we want that, and that's it, done, right? You know, these things take time, and we're talking. Everything's positive. You know, the manager wants me at the football club. The football club want me here. I want to stay here. So, as I say, hopefully sooner rather than later, we can get things wrapped up. Cheers, Ollie. No problem. Thank you.